and welcome to the Via Travelers YouTube channel. Our channel is a source for active travelers and potential expats to learn useful information about the top destinations around the world. We're always seeking out unique locations that offer the perfect combination of comfort, affordability, and fast internet speeds. We know it's hard to decide where you want to settle down or take your office on the go, so we've compiled a list of our top 10 favorite digital nomad destinations. First up is Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. Prague has become a digital nomad hotspot in recent years thanks to its stunningly beautiful architecture, affordable cost of living, and excellent internet speeds. On average, you can expect to pay $800 to $1,000 per month for rent plus utilities, depending on the area. Internet speeds are generally quite good, with an average of 20 megabytes per second and rarely dipping below 15 megabytes per second. According to speedtest.net, Czechia ranks at 45 in the world for internet speed. The Czech Republic is part of the EU, so you can stay up to 90 days on a tourist visa if you're from outside the EU. It means you can easily travel to other EU countries such as France, Germany, Austria and Hungary by train or bus during your time there. If you need more than 90 days, you can apply for the country's digital nomad visa, known as a D-Visa. The pros of Prague include things like a very large expat community, plenty of co-working spaces, and a mix of modernity and traditional charm that make it truly beautiful. If you want to explore nearby areas, consider visiting the nearby towns of Kutna Hora, Chesky Krumlov, and Olomolts, which offer a variety of historical attractions. The downsides of Prague include the fact that it can get quite cold in the winter, and some of us are known for sporadic rainfall. So if you're not a fan of the cold, prepare to bundle up. When it comes to language, English is spoken and understood in Prague quite extensively, although Czech is the official language. More and more Americans and Canadians are ditching the cold winter months and heading south of the border to Mexico. Mexico City is a great option for digital nomads on a budget, with a monthly cost of living for a single person being about $800 to $1,000. The average internet speed is roughly 18 megabytes per second, and Mexico City ranks at number 64 on speedtest.net's global rankings. The pros of Mexico City include incredible food, rich culture, and a bustling nightlife. There are plenty of co-working spaces, and the big city vibe will help keep you motivated and inspired. However, the city is landlocked and is more expensive than other Mexican cities, but is still cheaper than other destinations in Europe and North America. You may also have to deal with the occasional earthquake, but most buildings are well prepared for it. If you're looking for something a little more laid back, Consider Playa del Carmen or Tulum. They make for great sun-filled escapes from the hustle and bustle of city life. The cost of living is about $1,000 per month for rent, food, and utilities. Internet speeds can be inconsistent, but generally range from 10 to 15 megabytes per second, which is enough for day-to-day -day activities. The pros of Playa del Carmen and Tulum include beautiful beaches, amazing food, and plenty of activities such as scuba diving, snorkeling, and swimming. There's also a large expat community, so you won't feel alone. Be aware that the heat can be oppressive at times, and hurricanes can occur during the summer months. The beautiful capital of Portugal is a great option if you're looking for a place to stay in Europe. Lisbon has become one of the most popular digital nomad spots in Europe with its stunning coastal views, sunny weather, and general affordability. The monthly cost of living for a single person is around $1,000 to $1,500 a month, depending on your lifestyle and the area you stay in. The average internet speed in the city is a stonking 67.7 megabytes per second. While Lisbon prices have risen within the past year, it's still one of the most affordable places in Europe. You'll have access to fresh quality food, a coastline of stunning beaches, and lots of activities such as surfing, sightseeing, or exploring the vast cultural history. Many international residents now call Lisbon home, so you'll easily meet other digital nomads from around the world. As an EU member, a Portugal stay gives you access to visit other EU countries without a visa. Lisbon is a great location in the middle of the country that allows easy travel to Porto or South for a Mediterranean getaway in the Algarve. The city also provides a good workout with its abundance of hills and stairways. The downsides of Lisbon include the fact that it can be very crowded in peak tourist season, and there may be a language barrier at times for those who don't speak Portuguese. However, the tourist areas have plenty of English-speaking staff to help you out. If you fall in love with Lisbon, 
Portugal makes it easier to get residency than most European countries. Thailand is one of the most popular digital nomad destinations right now. Bangkok and Chiang Mai are two great spots to consider if you're looking for a place to work remotely. The cost of living in Bangkok is around $600 to $800 per month, with the average internet speed of 38.5 megabytes per second. In Chiang Mai, the cost of living is slightly lower, around $400 to $600 per month, with the average internet speed of 20.8 megabytes per second. Living in Thailand includes warm weather all year round, great street food, and a large digital nomad community. You'll meet lots of people who are working remotely and willing to share their own tips and advice. There are also plenty of co-working spaces and activities such as temples, night markets, and Muay Thai gyms. It's easy to get around both cities. Bangkok has an excellent and cheap metro system that includes trains, buses, and ride shares. The typical cost of a train ride is around 30 cents. In Chiang Mai, you can get around by tuk-tuk or rent a scooter. You can rent a scooter for about $8 to $12, but it's easy to walk most places in Chiang Mai since the city is so small and compact. The local cuisine of this country is unique and delicious, so you won't run out of food options. You can quickly travel to other exciting Southeast Asian countries like Vietnam or Malaysia by cheap Air Asia flights. The downside to Thailand is that there are frequent power outages. If you're interested in spending time in South America, Medellin in Colombia is an excellent option. The city offers a lot of potential for digital nomads due to its good weather, growing expat community, and affordable cost of living. The average cost of living for a single person is around $850 per month, and the average internet speed is 17.3 megabytes per second. Perk yourself up in the mornings with the amazing local coffee, and enjoy the stunning views of Medellin in the evenings. The city is known for its beautiful parks, vibrant nightlife, and interesting art scene. The locals are friendly, and you'll quickly make friends in the growing digital nomad community. There are plenty of co-working spaces to choose from, and lots of activities such as salsa classes and hikes close by. The city is also close to other popular locations such as Cartagena, which makes it easy to take weekend trips and explore. The city can be quite chaotic with traffic and noise. It's also important to be aware of your surroundings when walking around and protect your electronic items. We've just mentioned a few of the best digital nomad destinations in the world. If you're interested to find out more, keep listening. And don't forget to check out our channel for all your travel essentials and to check out our latest videos. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. One of the most exotic and exciting digital nomad destinations is Bali, and it's becoming a favorite for us nomads. This stunning island offers a lot of potential for those working remotely and plenty of beautiful beaches and breathtaking views. Ubud and Changu are two popular areas that offer plenty of co-working spaces and activities for digital nomads. The average cost of living is around $1,000 per month, with an average internet speed of 6.51 megabytes per second. The local people are known for their friendliness and hospitality. Enjoy the delicious cuisine of this region, which includes a wonderful mix of Indonesian, Indian, and Chinese flavors. Take part in various activities, such as surfing and yoga classes, or explore the breathtaking nature of this island. If you enjoy wildlife, you can see elephants, monkeys, and other animals in the nearby forests. Just be careful with the monkeys. You sometimes like to steal your food, or cell phone, your wallet, or passport. While Bali can be quite touristy, you have the opportunity to blend in with the locals and make friends with fellow digital nomads. The downside of Bali is that the cost of living can be quite high depending on where you stay. Avoiding touristy areas is a great way to ensure lower costs. If you want to spend time living and working in a bustling city in Asia, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam is an excellent option for digital nomads. The average cost of living for a single person is around $750 per month. The average internet speed is a little slower at 10.6 megabytes per second. The city offers a lot of potential for digital nomads, with plenty of exciting activities such as street food tours and rooftop yoga. The Vietnamese are famously hospitable, and due to its growing popularity, you will find plenty of other digital nomads in this ever-growing city. The District 1 area is a popular spot for visitors and expats, as it offers plenty of co-working spaces, lots of restaurants, and non-stop partying till 5 a.m. However, if you want something quieter, you can feel at home in District 3. Thanks to the French, coffee culture is big here, and there are many independent coffee shops to choose from. Many of these shops have internet access and provide a great place to work. There are also many cultural attractions in the city, such as the War Remnants Museum and the Kuchi Tunnels, which are well worth a visit. The downside to Ho Chi Minh City is that traffic can be quite congested, especially in the city centre. Be prepared for non-stop motorbikes, loud horns, and smog. The city is also tropical, so you'll experience high temperatures during the summer months and lots of rain during the monsoon season. 
So bring your rain boots. Central and Eastern Europe are becoming popular destinations for digital nomads, with Budapest in Hungary being one of the top spots to visit. The beautiful joined cities of Buda and Pest invite you to explore stunning architecture, lovely bridges, and great cafes. The average cost of living for a single person is around $800 per month, with an average internet speed of 11.4 megabytes per second. Budapest is a great place to work remotely, as it has numerous co-working spaces and lots of accommodation options ranging from rentals to co-living spaces. The city also offers an abundance of cultural activities to take part in, such as exploring the many museums and galleries or taking a Danube river cruise. Hungary now has a visa designed for digital nomads, which makes it much easier for you to stay here. If you're approved for the white card visa, you can stay for up to a year. However, you can also rely on the Schengen visa that allows you to stay for up to 90 days while being able to travel to other countries in the Schengen area. The only real downside to Budapest is that the weather can be a bit gloomy, and its winters are extremely cold with temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So bring your warmest clothes. Another option in South America for digital nomads is the cosmopolitan city of Buenos Aires in Argentina. The average cost of living for a single person is around $500 to $1,000 per month based on lifestyle, with an average internet speed of 20 megabytes per second. Apartments are slightly more expensive than in other parts of Argentina, but are generally of better quality. This vibrant city offers plenty of activities and attractions to explore, like its many museums, parks, and churches. You can also experience its lively nightlife and its array of restaurants, bars, and clubs. If you love to dance, then you'll have plenty of opportunities to learn the country's passionate tango, enjoy the country's excellent steak restaurants, and most importantly, its cheap beer. When it comes to co-working spaces, Buenos Aires is well equipped with many options. These spaces cost an average of $100 per month, and also provide great networking events for digital nomads and entrepreneurs. However, it can be quite hard to find an apartment in the city, with rents often costing more than a third of your monthly income. Costa Rica is an increasingly popular destination for digital nomads, and for good reason. Tamarindo and San Jose are some of the top cities in the country to visit, and are great locations for nomads to set up shop. Tamarindo is a great spot for beach lovers, with an abundance of activities such as surfing and snorkeling. Accommodation is relatively cheap, and the average cost of living for a single person in this area is around $1,500 per month. Tamarindo also has reliable internet speeds of around 10 megabytes per second, and plenty of co-working spaces. San Jose is the country's capital and its largest city. It offers plenty of attractions such as the Gold Museum, the National Theatre, and Central Park. The average cost of living for a single person in San Jose is around $900 per month, with an average internet speed of 11.4 megabytes per second. Both of these cities have plenty of co-working spaces, and you can find accommodation in shared apartments, hotels, or hostels. There is also a great expat community here, and the locals are known for being incredibly friendly and welcoming. Despite periods of unrest, Costa Rica doesn't have a military, so expats and nomads can feel safe here and not worry about a potential war breaking out randomly. Maybe just an unchecked revolution. But that's pretty unlikely too. Well, that's all we've got time for today, and I hope you found this list intriguing at the very least. At Via Travelers, we want to help you find the best digital nomad destinations that suit your needs and lifestyle. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for all related travel essentials. And if you enjoyed this vid, do subscribe to our channel for more great content. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and cheery bye.